all the latest info on the Pixel 4a 5G, Pixel 5, even next year's Pixel 5a and possibly a foldable Pixel device from Google. Although I give that one maybe a lower percentage chance coming. So this is news that we've got some leaked Android documents and we get some Pixel 5a info. So this should be launched next year. This is, well, basically the uh, the next version of the Pixel 4a, which has just been announced. So thanks to some leaked Google documents, we now have three devices that seem to be being worked on by Google. One called Raven, one called Oreo, and one called Passport. And those names will actually differ from some of the names in the Android Open Source Project, or AOSP, which are normally named after Fish. But there is one device actually referred to as Foldable, which also says may be coming in Q4 2020. So are we gonna see a foldable Pixel device this year? Well, there have been no other leaks regarding it in terms of hardware, which you would expect there to be. So this may be something that they were working on. In fact, Google have said before that they've been working on prototypes of foldables for a while, but obviously they also think that the market just isn't really ready for foldables right now, which kind of is true. Samsung is really leading the market with a couple of devices. And even though they're doing pretty well for Samsung, they're still incredibly expensive. And obviously the amount that they actually sell in terms of number of units still isn't huge. So whether that comes or not, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Something that maybe Google are working on as a prototype. And pretty much every brand is having rumors of foldables right now, even Apple, which is definitely miles and miles away from actually giving it to us. And we also have today's deals. The Pixel 4a is actually now on pre-order on Amazon. This thing is sold out. So it looks like a lot of people are going for this phone. It is on Amazon for pre-order. The MacBook Pro 13 inch is also $200 off on Amazon for 512 gigabytes of storage and Bose noise canceling Bluetooth headphones with Alexa are now 25% off. So you save $100 on those. All the links are in the description below if you wanna go and check them out. Then we get a leak about the Google Pixel 4a 5G. So not the one that's just launched, but a, another new one and then the Pixel 5. And these two are supposed to be launched at around the same time. We may even have the launch date. So this was leaked from a Google blog post in France and it gives a date of the 8th of October for the Made by Google event. And well, we, we should be seeing two phones because we get another leaked image here, which shows two phones. Funnily enough, the bigger version is actually the Pixel 4a 5G, the smaller version, the Pixel 5. Pixel 5 obviously coming with a metal design, a very premium phone with wireless charging and waterproofing we expect. The 4a 5G actually using the same chipset, but a plastic design, a bigger screen, which actually may be better beneficial for some people. We also get this leak from Ross Young, who knows everything about displays, telling us that a new Google phone at 6.67 inches will be using an OLED display from either Samsung or BOE. So they will be splitting up the manufacturing between those two companies, but that is coming. That should be the Pixel 4a 5G because that is the bigger one of the two. 6.7 inches for a screen is quite large. And also apparently according to him, that should have 120 Hertz, which, wow, that is really good. So as we know, the Pixel uh, 4 and 4 XL uh, with a 90 Hertz display. So picking that up to 120 Hertz would actually be a really good thing. Even though those phones are expected to come with a Snapdragon 765G, which is a mid-range chipset, adding 120 Hertz would actually make those phones feel faster and more responsive. And we're getting to a stage now where all chipsets are powerful for most people. And so maybe you don't need those chipsets and you can actually just bring a cheaper phone with a good, fast, responsive screen. And you know Pixels have amazing cameras. There isn't really much more that people want in a smartphone these days. Just a great screen, a great camera, and a good, affordable price. And are we seeing possibly Google actually coming out and offering some really um, good devices at good prices, they may actually be increasing their market share if they do this. We'll have to wait and see just how they come. We know the designs are changing, which is definitely warranted. No one wants those big bezels. 
a high refresh rate screen and one of the best cameras on the market. If they get the pricing right, these phones actually could take some market a share away from the other Android brands this year. So I'm actually quite excited to see what Google can do on this one. Let me know what you think of the upcoming Pixel 4a 5G and Pixel 5 in the comments. Would you wait for them or go for the 4a? Let me know. That's it though. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.